Isaiah chapter number 47. Second Corinthians, the 47th book of the Bible. Now we looked at Bel and Nebo in chapter 46. Those are gods of the Babylonians. Now we're looking upon judgment of Babylon. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And the city's going today. They're fighting over there today over oil and uh, religions and who gets the power and who doesn't get the power. But there's no Babylon. There's a Babylon yet to, to come, mystery Babylon, and that will fall. Take the millstone and grind meal. I mean, that's the flour is the principal food of bread. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Well, Americans will love that verse. Uncover the thigh. Oh, there we go. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Oh, America will love that one. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Well, see, America doesn't have shame. You know, over the rivers, you go in the beaches and all that, and they're all half naked. But wouldn't it be funny if somebody were to come and force them to be naked? I bet you they would have shame then. I will take vengeance, God speaking. I will not meet thee as a man. You know, you, you can buy off a man. You can make a man happy. You can have please a man, but God says, no, you're done. You're gone. You're finished. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. See, nations outside of Israel, in their sins, God's not going to forgive them. Only Israel is that one nation that God will forgive. God will wipe away their sins. But do you know what he has to do to Israel to do that? The tribulation period and the great tribulation period, the seven full years, it's not a happy time. I can't even imagine the, the no presence of God at all and Satan in full power. Listen, there will be no constitution in the tribulation period. It probably won't even be a police force. You do the evil that you want to do. That's what men want to do. There are churches and religions right now in America that would love to destroy the Bible-believing Christian, but yet the law says we have freedom. That's why the Constitution is being attacked. You get rid of that piece of paper, then these religions can do whatever they want. And the law can't do nothing about it. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of Chaldean, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdom. So she's going to be destroyed. I was wroth with my people, Israel. Ephesians 5 5 through 8. I have polluted my inheritance, Israel, and given them into thy hand, Babylon. It hasn't happened yet. Isaiah is writing to a, to a, to a, a, a city that's yet going to be destroyed, and they haven't even taken Israel or Judah into captivity for their sins yet. Isaiah was a crackpot to the Jews. Like, we stand in the streets and preach Jesus is coming. There's hell coming. We're a crackpot to them. As much as, they, as the Jews can see Babylon, right now in chapter 47, as much as someone on the street you can see hell. But it does happen. And prophecy will come to pass. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand, Babylon. 
thou didst show them no mercy. The king comes, I mean, Babylon comes in, takes the king, kills his sons before his eyes, and then plucks his eyeballs out. He makes the princes and the children of the kingdom eunuchs. Now that's an operation that's guaranteed quite painful. They ripped the children up, the Bible says, the women were children. Upon the ancient has thou very, 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 excuse me, very heavily laid thy yoke. The old, old people. You gave them burdens. You know what you know what God did to Israel, his people, his inheritance in World War II under Hitler? Because they would not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Messiah. They would not obey God. Thou hast said, this is Babylon, I shall be a lady forever. It's an America thing. America thinks that she's going to be around forever and off into eternity. There will be a place called America. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. How many people did we preach? How many people did we give gospel tracts? How many Bible-believing churches are out there trying to witness and nobody takes it to heart, the truth of the Bible? This, remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this. Thou that art given to pleasures, America, that dwellest carelessly, America, now we're talking about Babylon, but America has these that says in thy heart, I am, and none else besides me. I, 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 they got an eye problem. It's all about me. I shall not sit as a widow. A widow is a woman that lost her husband. Neither shall I know the loss of children. Death. Death in immediate family. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. You're going to get what you think you're not going to get. You deceived yourself. They shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorcery. Pocus Pocus, magic, Harry Potter, Baptist uh, magicians, they all do the same thing. Don't you give a Christian name to something the Bible's against and think God's going to bless it. Sorcery is, so is sorcery, magic is magic. It's all the sleight of the hand, the deceiving of the eyes. And for the great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, America. Thou hast said, none seeth me. I mean, Proverbs 15, 3 says, The eyes of the Lord in every place behold the evil and the good. You are being seen. The wisdom and thy knowledge, no understanding. It has perverted thee. They have no understanding. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else besides me. That's what God said. Last few chapters. There is no God besides me. And here's a nation saying, there's no one like us. That's America. Made in America. So... Uh, one of those magazines you, you find at the checkout does stories on Jesus and Abraham and all the, I just saw a new one that came out the stuff that's made in, in the USA okay I'll buy the book to find out what not to buy it's pretty much the stuff that's made in America is it, junk it don't last 
I got an American made car out there and the computer's ready to be going. It's only running by prayer. I've had a lot of American cars that are now no more. They say when you buy a car in America, you don't you look at the date plate, make sure it's not on a Friday. Make sure it's not in a time before a week before or a week after a, a strike. Therefore, shall evil come upon thee. America, evil's coming upon thee. Evil is when you sin. If we read a couple days ago, God uh, creates evil. Now that's not sin. That is the result of sin. America is going to get the evil one day of allowing sin, molestation. Murder, same sex, drunkenness, drugs, overtaxing the people, lying, foul judgment. America will get the evil that she has sold in the ground and will reap. I hope I'm not around when it happens. But it's, it has already begun in America. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. El Nemo. Climate control. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Global warming. Sorry, you're wrong. If you knew where it came from, you knew what you're talking about, you know it is the author of God and the Bible, the Holy One of Israel, and you would know, let's get the whole nation right and repent and get right before God as Nineveh did in the times of Jonah preaching. But you blame it on Mother Nature. You give the credit to a God, small g-o-d. A mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Study the history of Babylon. How easy the army came in and took over the city by lowering the river. Stand now with the enchant enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries. And Babylon was full of it. Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. So they were taught. I guess not by movies and books. You know, you want to have fun with some something one time? Go check out your Christians on you on the Facebook. Alright? Go to church. I've done that. And with the books and movies they like, you see how many of those Christians that you know are, that love the Lord and got a Bible-believing church. And the books and the movies they like are Harry Potter. Or involved in dragons and you know, other junk. Hmm? Sin. Wickedness. If so be thou shalt be able to profit money, if so be that thou mayest prevail, you, you know, make a profit off and overcome, you're not going to. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. The counsels are sorcery, they're wicked. In the context, counsel is seeking the tea leaves, seeking the heavenly bodies. Open up the newspaper, the comic section, and find out what Sagittarius is going to happen today. Let now the astrologers, there's your, there's your horoscopes, there's looking at the stars, Leo and all them up there, and stargazers. May the force be with you. Boldly go where no man's gone before. The, 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 Hollywood uh, restaurant there with, with the names and with the stars on the sidewalk. The monthly prognosticator. Yeah, Stand up and save thee from these things that 
shall come upon it. Call your magicians. Were those magicians in the time of Pharaoh able to save Egypt? No, they weren't. Behold, in fact, they couldn't even answer Nebuchadnezzar in his dream. I had a dream last night. Well, oh, King, tell us the dream. Well, you, I, I don't remember the dream. Tell me what the dream's at. We can't do that. Why? Daniel, who was not a magician, was able to do it by God. No hocus pocus, no wigwams or black hats or anything of that other junk. Daniel was able to do it by the power of God in prayer. Magicians don't seek God. I'm sorry. And you don't like it? That's tough. You find me one good magician in the Bible. Simon the sorcerer wanted the, the power of the Holy Spirit by cash, check, or money order. How much will you give it to me, Peter? How much do I need to pay? The Bible's against them. And if you support them, you're against the Bible. Because God says, call to them. See if they can help you. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The, the stargazers, the astrologers, the wizards. Stubble. That's the worthless. Blows away. Dust in the wind. The fire shall burn therein. The fire shall burn them. Sorry, my eyes are now going again. The fire shall burn them. I think they would rather have therein. But them. They will have their part in a lake of fire. They shall not deliver themselves. We're talking about the, the, the councils. We're talking about the astrologers. We're talking about the, the wizards. That's the context. They will not deliver themselves from that page. the power of the flame. Destruction. Fire burns. It gets rid of it. Turns to ashes. Melts. Destroys. There shall not be a coal to warm at. Ashes. You put uh, charcoal on the grill and you burn it, let it burn all night. The next morning it's just ashes. You can't burn it anymore and there's no use. Even if you put it on the ground, you can't grow anything out of the ash. It'll blow away. Nor fire to sit before it. The fire has finished the work. It makes ashes. It's all gone. Destruction. Where is Babylon today? It's gone. The only thing that is left of Babylon is the religion. The religion is still alive. The city is gone. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored. Even thy merchants, from thy youth, they shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee from God. And when you stand before the great white throne judgment before God, there's only one thing that's going to get you. Your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's it. Nothing else. No gods will save you. No man will save you. Only if your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and you've done what God has told you to do in your particular period in time. And it's hard to tell who. Especially in the Old Testament. Babylon will be destroyed. God said it. 